Hi guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. This is Bluebell Gupta, the other half of the York Cardiology duo. And today we thought we would do a really interesting video talking about why dogs really are a man's best friend. As you know, for quite a while now, I've been interested in the subject of POTS. And I was really fortunate to go and attend a conference in London only two weeks ago on POTS. And I came across something really, really interesting and innovative that I wanted to share with you. So let me put Bluebell to the side and then say hi and then we'll talk about things. So as you know, in uh, patients um, who have POTS, one of the things that is hugely debilitating for patients is this constant dizziness. And a lot of patients with dysautonomia and POTS actually black out or collapse. And that can be incredibly disabling. They lose confidence, they struggle to go out and they become very limited and socially isolated and that makes everything worse. At this POTS masterclass I went um, and we met one such patient who basically was collapsing all day long and therefore had become completely isolated because of her POTS and she couldn't do anything and she couldn't go out. And she came to us and told us this remarkable story, which is very uplifting and may offer hope to any other patients who may be like this. She introduced us to her new friend called Mercedes, and Mercedes is actually a dog. And Med Mercedes is a medical detection dog. Mercedes has been trained to pick up when the owner is about to collapse and warn the owner. So what Mercedes, this dog, would do is it would detect by its sense of smell a few minutes before the patient was going to black out or collapse and this is even before the patient would know that they're going to collapse and the dog would warn the owner and the owner would then lie down and what was incredible was that the dog would lie down on top of the owner and only let the owner get up after it was safe for the patient to get up. That's incredible. So the science behind this is it is all to do with the dog's sense of smell. Now, I'm not an expert other than in Bluebell, but what they told us was that a dog's sense of smell is so good that whilst humans may struggle to actually smell sugar, a little teaspoonful of sugar in a cup of coffee, and dogs could smell the sugar even if it was a teaspoon of sugar in two big swimming pools put together. So dogs have a very, very precise and uh, sensitive sense of smell. It appears that, and the science behind this is that any disease, any cell that is altered will release a, a volatile compound and that volatile compound has a sense of odor and that volatile compound is either then excreted in the patient's breath or in the patient's urine. And a dog can actually be trained to sense that volatile compound or smell that volatile compound so that when that reaction is occurring in the patient and perhaps through the, the patient's breath, the dog can actually smell it and warn the patient, which was incredible. And these medical detection dogs are now being trained and there is, um, a, there's an organization which is doing it, a charity organization which is developing this and they've had some outstanding results. What they found was that, of course, that the dog was almost over 90% right in that he would pick up at the over, almost over 95% of the episodes before they actually resulted in the patient collapsing. So what was really interesting is this lady who kindly came and brought her dog along to talk to us told us that before she acquired the dog, uh, she would collapse very frequently and every six collapses would result in one injury. Since she's acquired the dog, this figure has changed to 156 episodes to one injury. So it made a substantial difference to her quality of life, which has therefore meant that she's been able to have more confidence, she's been able to go out a lot more, and it's given her some semblance of quality of life back. So even though she still gets it, she's not scared of lying down because there's a dog with her, the dog has warned her, she doesn't feel alone, the dog keeps her secure, and she doesn't injure herself. And because she doesn't injure herself, she doesn't spend more time in bed. Because she doesn't spend more time in bed, she gets more conditioned. She goes out, she develops a sense of confidence, she develops a sense of adventure, which is all incredibly, incredibly empowering for patients with POTS. 
So this was remarkable and I thought I would share it with you. Um, I have actually been invited to go to the facility where they trained the dogs to do a video and hopefully I'll bring that to you soon. It is quite a rigorous process with dogs. They have to be trained for up to two years and apparently it can cost up to £29,000 to train one of these dogs. But I think this um, expense is far outweighed by the benefits it brings to the patient. It, the number of hospital visits are markedly reduced because the patient is no longer injuring themselves. So all in all, an excellent, innovative and amazing idea which may offer a lot of hope to patients with POTS in the future. It was the highlight of my day and I really wanted to share this with you. So if you type in medical detection dogs, you'll find out a little bit more about this. Dogs have been picked, uh, are being trained not only to pick up people who are going to pass out, but are going to help people with diabetes before they develop a hypoglycemic episode, people with epilepsy, and so many other potential users for this wonderful technology, which um, has actually taught us that dogs are indeed a man's best friend. Thank you so much.